Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the all new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. Lots of you will remember the formidable previous body style that ended in 2021. Very sad to see that car go. It was very rugged, luxurious, big, heavy, and awesome. Land Cruiser Heritage born in 1951, evolved through the 80s and the 90s into the staple of the family vehicle in the 90s. But it's back, ladies and gentlemen. No need to fret anymore. They took it from us, they brought it back, and we are here to see what the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser offers. This right here is going to be the first edition. We have three different trim levels that come with this particular car. There's the 1958, which is our entry level vehicle, and then we've got our standard Land Cruiser and our first edition. And what you see here is the standard first edition. Now, the standard first edition and the 1958 are gonna come with the iconic round headlights and your Standard edition is gonna come with the rectangle LEDs. All of them are gonna be LED vehicles. Now, there's a lot of changes that have happened, boys and girls, and I'm glad you're here to talk about them. One of the first and foremost is no longer an eight-cylinder engine. It's a 2.4 full four-cylinder, 326 horsepower, 465 foot-pound of torque. All of the vehicles are an all-wheel drive vehicle built on Toyota's new global architecture platform, and it's the F-Series. Currently, the Tacoma is built on that same model. will be shared with the new 2025 4Runner coming out very soon, but there's some big differences that make this a road-top vehicle and an off-road vehicle to be nothing to be compared with. We have them starting at $59,000 for the 1958 version, $70,000 for the standard, and seventy-eight dollars for what you see here in the first edition. All three editions are quieter, faster, safer, and smoother, and we're gonna dive into more of that here shortly. 22 city miles per gallon, 27 highway with a combined 23. All the off-road capabilities of anything out there on the road, built on Toyota's new global architecture platform, they're ready to go, folks. When you drop down to the front of this particular vehicle, again, we talked about it being on the Toyota new global architecture platform. That was introduced in 2013 as it been perfected to what it is today. It gives you the availability of making different size vehicles on the same platform, reducing costs and passing that on to customers like yourself. What you see here on this vehicle is this is actually a couple, only a couple inches shorter than the big boy that we had before and about four inches skinnier. Every year they've made these cars quieter, faster, safer, and smoother. If we were just talking about some of the things that this comes along with up front, it's gonna be your cameras that you see up on the top of the windshield up here. This is the heart and soul of all of your lane driving assist, radar guided cruise control. All the driver assist programs come from these cameras up here that work in connection with the other cameras around the vehicle. The little one you see up there, that's to see how many raindrops hit your windshield so they'll come automatically for you. Come on automatically for you too as well. The camera that you see up front on the windshield here, again, is the heart and soul of what we have for our dynamic radar guided cruise control. It has a wider lens on it and a deeper lens. So it enables the vehicle to be able to actually see further down the road and still detect things for you when you're in the dynamic radar guided cruise control. Simply put, with this vehicle, you're able to set the cruise control, decide how many car lengths that you want to follow behind somebody, and the vehicle's going to do the work for you. You need to pay attention, you need to be awake, because it has what's called a driver monitoring system. That's right, there's a camera watching you. And if your eyes are off the road too long, it's actually going to give you an alert and a visual alert to put your eyes back on the road and to pay attention to what's going on in front of you. Even though you've got the dynamic radar guided cruise control, or we call it DRCC active, it will not do all the work for you, you must be paying attention. It does detect road signs. It does detect curves and roads. It will slow down for you. If you decide that you want to change lanes because you see a car that's coming up in front of you, it will detect whether there is enough room between you and the car in front of you and the car in the next lane to help you with that driver assist package. When you look at the front end of this vehicle, it is going to have the iconic round headlights that came on the previous body style. You'll only find that on the 1958 and the first edition. Your standard Land Cruiser is going to be a rail of LED lights that run across the front here in a rectangular form, staggered across. Rigid uh, LED fog lights come standard on this particular vehicle. And you can see up front, we've got the rally box. I call it up top, if many people call it just a simple roof rack, but that comes along with the vehicle as well. Just this vehicle coming back and being the formidable opponent that it's supposed to be, although it is a four cylinder versus the big V8 that came along in the vehicle before, it's not $89,000. And with that said, it still has the same capabilities. Now it's not gonna tow as much, but it is gonna get you where you need to be in style and safety with Toyota Heritage quality and performance. 
We've been talking to you today about the 2024 Land Cruiser, and I'm super excited to come around the just even the passenger side of it. We've talked about lane departure alert, rear cross traffic alert, road sign detection alert, radio cruise control alert. All these things are just driver packages that are designed to help assist you in situations where you may not or may may or may not be prepared. However, you're gonna to have to have a formidable set of tires on this. And this one's gonna come with a set of 265-70R18s. It's an all-terrain tire rated for the street and your off-road capabilities. As you can plainly see, the large body side cladding that comes around the fender wheel here, not only is it four great looks, but it's actually to protect the side of the vehicle when you actually get into an off-road situation where there is large brush, where there can be thorns, where there can be wire. Those things are designed to take that damage and be easily replaced instead of the sheet metal on the car. When you come around just a little bit further back, you're gonna see up top the oversized mirror. It's actually got a built-in large blinker so your traffic can see what's coming towards you, maybe in the lane next to you, and what your actual intentions are that in that particular driving maneuver. The mud flaps that you see, now this one is going to be the first edition, so it's a little bit different with regards to what you actually get on that. Yes, you can get mud guards, but these are a little fancier with regards to the fact that they've got a brace that stands behind them in case any other type of brush tries to break through and not just snap off. The rock rails that you see, a lot of people are going to what they call rock rails these days, right? To where it's like, well, why do we do a rock rail versus a sidestep? Your sidestep is designed for the shorter driver or the person that needs a little bit of assistance to get in. The reality of a rock rail is for you to be off-road, have minimum obstruction from the vehicle, giving you maximum ground clearance so you can step out and see what the terrain consists of and step back into your vehicle without actually having to get out. Wet conditions, muddy conditions, rainy conditions. Those are the things that you're looking for. All of, your, all of the vehicles are gonna come with the anti-intrusion beams that are built into the doors. Those tubular pieces of steel are actually designed thick enough that if you were to actually puncture the side of the door, the vehicle would move before they would bend and or break, making a very safe environment for you. When you come around, you're gonna to continue to see the body side cladding. A lot of it is for design, but it is to protect the lower parts of the vehicle at a lower cost of minimum repair if need be. You will see in particular strategic areas what looks like a ghost piece of film, color keyed to match the car for those high traveled areas. Rocks, debris flying up from the road just to take care of the vehicle and the longevity of that car. Coming around the side of the vehicle, those people that have enjoyed Land Cruiser for over the years, you're going to see the remnants of that Land Cruiser in this blocked glass. The shape of the doors, yes, it is quieter, faster, safer, and smoother. It's a whole lot thinner, costs a lot less, and it has a smaller carbon footprint in the world today. So we run to the back of the vehicle. They didn't miss out on a thing. With regards to one of my favorite attributes of this vehicle was the easy access to the rear of the car. If you're trying to get in, get out quickly, this is one of the biggest assets that you have. Now, if you've got a much bigger payload or a much bigger load to put into the vehicle, easy access, you've got that on your remote, you've got that interior, and you've got it on the door, right? All the vehicles are gonna come equipped with a 37 and a half cubic foot rear cargo area. This is a cargo organizer that we've actually put into this particular vehicle is one of the options that you have. Your previous 200 Land Cruiser had a total cargo area of 41.7. When we put the seat down on the second row, we're going to exceed that cargo area for storage, overlanding, camping in the back. Some of the things you may or may not notice in the back of this vehicle are going to be the two C ports on each side for charging units, whether it's your phone, your tablet, smartwatch, whatever the case may be. We've talked extensively about this truck on the outside. Everything that the 2024 Land Cruiser has to offer from the 1958 version to the standard to the all-inclusive first edition. When I jump into this vehicle automatically or immediately, I'm gonna recognize that we've got a full leather seating surface, leather steering wheel, leather wrap shift knob, and a 14 speaker JBL system, boys and girls. One of the things we like to show off the most is that 12.3 inch multimedia screen with 14 speaker JBL audio system wireless Android and Apple CarPlay, three months Sirius XM radio, 10 year safety connect and 10 year connected services. Those are all trial offers. You can get one year subscription to X or excuse me, three months uh, XM Sirius radio for free on this unit. And then they send you offers to keep you rolling on and great music and the music of your choice. 
When you look at this particular vehicle, the gauge cluster is set up to be very easily read and give you a multitude of information. This can be co configured in multiple different ways per the driver's specs. You can actually change the information that you see on your tachometer, your speedometer, and the information that comes out in the middle of the screen. Everything from your turbo gauges to nothing there at all, to the current fuel economy, navigation, simplified, simplified directions that pop up on turn by turn. Uh, we can take care of the center. Well, that's actually going to be just a difference of information for adaptive cruise control, feedback information, car links, and how you determine what this vehicle is going to do for you. Notice that electronic mirror, digital mirror, excuse me. That's a camera in the back that's on the back of the vehicle. Whether it's daytime or nighttime, gives you a very good view of what you see but it is also it's a home link, multi home link uh, mirror that gives you the ability to open gates, turn on lights and open garage doors at home as well. We are also going to be thoroughly impressed as you can see the layouts the layout is very, very simple. This is actually a retro radio knob. If you get into the old Land Cruisers, that's where the radio knob was. It's very simple, very uh, it's not out of place, but you get used to it being there try climate controlled air conditioning in here so we've got the ability to control the driver side passenger side and the rear of the vehicle the rear of the vehicle is one of the few that actually gets its very own set of air conditioning controls heated steering wheel uh, and then our panoramic view monitor which is kind of slick whenever you're into any type of urban area off-road you and you need to see what's around you an immediate response or an immediate look at the vehicle and what's around you this gives you a true depiction of what is actually there you can change the settings and how you want to see what's around you and what you what you do or you don't see everything is controlled from what i call central command station here and it's here on your steering wheel this enables you to change any of the settings in the vehicle with regards to how it's going to perform for you anything that becomes something to do with the air conditioning and the heating or the audio controls are going to be controlled here. Now I say that only to say that you can change the radio station, you can change what music venue or what music source you have and turn the volumes up and down. Very sophisticated, sophisticated piece of machinery because the Apple Android and Apple CarPlay are seamlessly integrated into the system as soon as you turn your vehicle on. You're able to use whether it's Alexa or it's your Google services on Android to locate any particular location that you're looking for, to actually look up information to, to settle a dispute amongst the kids in the back, or for you and your co-pilot to figure out what the actual truth is on that. As you can see, it can be set up in English, Spanish, and in French, and there are other languages to choose from as well. What you'll actually see here on the, on the steering wheel is the horn. All of them come equipped with that. That's standard equipment, boys and girls. But you're able, you're able to set your dynamic radar guided cruise control, the car links in which you follow somebody. When you set your cruise control on these vehicles, you're able to determine whether you want to follow right on somebody's tail or give them four car links in between you or two or three, depending upon your level of comfort. Uh, when you do your cruise control settings, you're going to be able to handle all that from right here as well. And then you also have your lane trace keep or lane detection alerts. And it's also when you're in cruise control, you will get a slight assistance from the vehicle if it starts to veer from the center of the lane. That too can be changed on this vehicle uh, with regards to whether you are a left side lane hugger or a right side lane hugger or don't want the assistance at all. All of that is a variable that can be taken care of for you. So pairing your phones in these particular vehicles is just easy as one, two, three. Simply put your phone into discovery mode you want to go to manage devices. When you're in manage devices, you're going to search for a device. It recognizes my Samsung Ultra 20, so we're going to plug me in. Hit pair on your phone. And you Apple users will probably have just a little more trouble. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hit OK. And we're in. Whenever you first get connected with, mine's going to be uh, Android. And I, I, I default to ways as far as my map is concerned, right? If I was using Google, it would default to the Google map. Since I am using that, I can actually physically put in the address. If I want to find a new address, I can actually push the microphone or I can simply say, nearest Jack in the box. Sure, Jack in the box, let's go. We're all set, let's go. 
Now it will give you turn by turn notifications until you reach your destination. If you pass your destination, it will recalculate and get you back to your destination. So more than one way to have this vehicle do the things for you that you'd like it to do. Um, if you want to simply just utilize the search engine that you have within your own phone, you simply just ask it a question. Three day forecast, League City, Texas. Today through Friday in League City, highs will be around 95, while lows will be around 79. Today, it'll be clear with clouds from time to time. Tomorrow through Friday, it'll be mostly sunny. Please be advised, when you hear those temperatures in the great state of Texas, it does not tell you about the 92 plus percent humidity. Thank you very much. Obviously, you can see that you can receive your text messages on here. You can receive uh, Facebook instant messenger messages on here. Uh, you can look up certain things that you're trying to discover, whether it is information about the latest sports score, whether it's a stock exchange or stock trade, anything that you can access through your phone, you, should, you will be able to access by voice command and simply pushing the button here that wants to talk to it. Now, please understand, one of the differences is you got a two-part system here. One, if I push and just do it once, listen to FM 99.1. I am talking to the vehicle itself. If I push and hold the button for an extended amount of time, then I'm talking to my search engine, whether it's Google or Alexa or however that works. Tuning to 99.1 FM. great station. <laughs> so when we're talking about the 10-year connected services and 10-year safety services or safety connect services, safety connect, if you're in the event of an automobile accident, they will, the vehicle knows it's in an accident and it will send a signal to our safety connect resources. They will in turn try to reach you and if not, then they will deploy emergency vehicles to your pinpointed location per your vehicle. Your connected services keeps you in touch with the health of the vehicle, which is whether it's maintenance, some service has popped up or something has reared its ugly head and you need to get it taken care of at the dealership right away. You also have one year remote services. Remote services gives you the ability to be able to locate your car, gives you the ability to lock and unlock your car, start and stop your vehicle as well uh, if you've used the remote start. Now that has to be renewed after one year. When I joined Toyota back in the early 90s, uh, one of the things that impressed me the most was the amount of money and percentage of profits that they spent on safety. That's why we're at where we're at today with regards to our driver assist packages. This vehicle alone will actually determine whether you're watching the road or watching something else with the driver monitoring system that's right here for you. Um, but with that said, the matrimony of a hybrid engine versus just a straight combustion engine is coming to fruition and Toyota is making that possible from the Camry, which is all hybrid, to our Venza, it's all hybrid, Crown's all hybrid. Uh, the majority of our Tundras we are selling are more hybrids today. Uh, what has been impressive for me in, in all these years is that every year Toyota gets quieter, faster, safer, and smoother. I wanna thank you guys for tuning into this video, letting us give you a little insight into what's new in the 2024 Land Cruiser. What's ahead for us on the road ahead with Toyota? Any more questions or like to come out and just take a look at one of these, you can reach us at Mack Hike Toyota, 281-338-9700. Out here in Big League City, Texas. <laughs>